Car chases, motorcycle jumps. How does Hollywood create those dynamite stunts? Arnold Schwarzenegger's body double reveals the secrets to our Aaron Sebula. Welcome to Stunt Dogs. That's the stunt dog himself, Peter Kent, host of the new documentary series that uses the best performers and technicians to recreate the greatest movie stunts of all time. Like this unbelievable chase scene from Fast and the Furious and Terminator 2's death-defying motorbike jump, one of Peter's favorites. I don't know if any of you saw that, but they kind of bounced me off the rock wall there on the bike. Hey, 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 up, hey, up, hey, hey. Like yeah. Arnold used to say, you must learn to make friends with pain. Danger is nothing new for Peter. That was just one of the stunts he performed as Arnold Schwarzenegger's stunt double for over 13 years and 14 blockbuster films. How many injuries have you had over the years? Well, the only things I haven't broken are legs and, and arms. So why would you ever want to recreate those stunts again for stunt dogs? Well, the idea is that I don't do them anymore, you see. We bring in the young guys who like to get beaten on. So what are the secrets to pull off a realistic Hollywood stunt? No girly punches. <laughs> the first thing a stunt guy learns is how to go, oh, really good. Okay. Okay, oh. so, yeah, good, that's good. During Stunt 101, I can't help but wonder how this former mill worker and roadie from Vancouver ended up doubling for the biggest name in action movies. Somebody said they were casting for Terminator 1 and mm -hmm. they needed a stand-in and stunt double. And Jim Cameron saw me and I had no stunt experience whatsoever. And I think Jim probably had to know that, but uh, for whatever reason, he took a chance on me. But time and injuries have slowed Peter down a little. How else could I get a shot in? Oh, mommy, it hurts. Stunt Dogs premieres in January on TMN and Super Econ in Quebec.